Oh, hello. I'm about to write a letter to a friend, a secret letter. Actually, I'd rather use invisible ink than a normal pen, but where on earth do you get invisible ink? You may have invisible ink in the refrigerator or hanging on a tree in the backyard, and I mean a lemon. You can get it out of the lemon by simply poking a hole through the lemon skin with a skewer or a sharp object. Even the sharp point of a pen cap will do. Make a hole through the lemon skin like that, and then push a cotton bud through, move it around until the cotton wool is thoroughly soaked in lemon juice, and then use that as a pen. For example, if I want to write the word curiosity, C-U-R-I-O, dip it again, make sure it's thoroughly wet, uh, S-I-T-Y, dip again, and on the next line, S-H-O-W, I can just make out some of the letters. You can barely see them, and when the lemon juice is dry, the letters will be totally invisible. So we can tear off the page, put the letter in the mail, and when my friend receives the letter, he or she will take it to the ironing board, because he or she knows what I've used for invisible ink, set the iron on a very high temperature, for example linen, and proceed to decipher the message by ironing the page. Now when you do this, it heats the lemon juice and causes chemical changes to occur. Slowly but surely, intriguing things start to happen. If you look carefully at the paper, you'll see that brown marks are beginning to appear. Lemon contains all sorts of things, included sugars and citric acid and other things as well. And those things are starting to change into brown materials which cause a stain on the paper and now you can see the letters are appearing to be quite visible. The invisible ink has turned into visible ink. You can see it and you can read the word. There it is, Curiosity Show. Well, it so happens that my friend has sent me a letter and I haven't deciphered it yet, but I'm about to. Here it is. Looks for all the world like a dry, blank sheet of paper. But we can bring that message out by ironing the page carefully. Now, at this point, you're probably saying to yourself, this is all very well if you own a lemon tree. What if you don't? It's all very well if lemons are in season. What if they're not? Is there anything else you can use as invisible ink? Well, let's see what my friend has to say. What does my friend have to say? A question is asked. And what is the question? We stop the iron and we see. The question is the question we just asked. What else can you use for invisible ink? Well, you can use lots of things that are probably in your refrigerator, whether lemons are there or not. You can use just about any soft drink you like. Uh, for example, bitter lemon or lemon squash work very well. Lemonade works well. In fact, uh, le lemonade and uh, cola and orange and all sorts of things work, but stick to a clear or an almost colourless liquid, because then they won't leave a stain on the paper. Cola and orange do. Some things won't work. For example, soda water won't work, neither will mineral water. They don't have the right sort of things in them. Here's the simplest one of all. Get some hot water, put it in a glass, and add a couple of spoons of sugar. Because sugar is one of those things that helps invisible ink to work. Stir it around until it dissolves, and then use that as your invisible ink. And what that will do is to form a clear solution on your page and then when you iron that, it'll start to turn into something brown that you love to eat. Toffee. It's a sort of a toffee substance that's formed in the paper. And then your letter will come visible again. Try it out.